Chris Roy here from rwoco12 and epicjoy.com. Today I'm bringing to you a review of a game, Dead or Alive 5, last round for the NVIDIA Shield Android TV. I don't know if I've been living under a rock for the last several years, but apparently Dead or Alive is a thing. I had no idea there was a Dead or Alive 5 or even a 2, a 3, or a 4, or 5. I started playing the game expecting a Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat type game, and I was not disappointed. It definitely met that criteria. The fighting in the game is awesome, it's extremely well done. The backgrounds, the animations, they're smooth, they're beautiful, and the graphics are next to none. I really, really enjoyed the game. I did have one problem with the game though, and that was the emphasis it put on the female anatomy. I'm definitely not a prude. I don't have any issues with games that feature beautiful women, and Dead or Alive definitely features beautiful women. Uh, Dead or Alive 5 had, last round features 34 playable characters, with 13 of them being male, and 21 of them being female. Of those 21 female characters, almost none of them were wearing a full set of clothes. Uh, after the fact, I found out that this is by design. Uh, Dead or Alive 5 comes with its own breast physics engine. As you can imagine, the breast physics engine has one purpose, and that is solely to animate the women's breast. Uh, fortunately, there are costumes for several of these women that were more modest and didn't leave me feeling like I couldn't play with my kids or wife in the room. Um, despite that focus on the women and their lack of clothing, I did find the game to be quite enjoyable. It was insanely fun. There's a wide variety of levels to play. The majority of these levels are interactive. You can throw people off of cliffs. You can jump down on them. You can interact with some of your surroundings. There's explosions and uh, different things like that. Um, some of the moves that you can do, there's a variety of different attacks that can be used uh, for mild to devastating results. Some of these moves defy the laws of physics. <laughs> kind of laughed at a couple of different uh, moves that they had. Uh, but most of these moves that they have are kept within the realms of believability and are plausible in the real world. Um, as you fight for the dominance, the fighters that you have, they have gear that they may be wearing like a hat or glasses. They may lose their hats, they may lose their glasses. Uh, their clothes get dirty and wet and they you, you actually interact with the world around you and that was kind of a cool effect. Um, so I don't play a lot of video games and when I do, I don't play them for very long. Um, I try to limit my time on a video game to less than a half hour. Um, that way I feel a little bit better about what I'm doing and I don't feel like I'm wasting a lot of my time. I had a friend go from uh, who was visiting in from out of town and uh, for the first time in a long time I found myself playing a video game for more than that half hour time limit. Joe and I played for a good hour or two before we had to call it quits. And I want to say that uh, we quit because he was a sore loser and he gave up because I was beating him every round, but that would be a complete bald faced lie. Uh, the truth is he probably beat me more than I beat him. Um, but we both had a blast. There was lots of high fives exchanged. We gained a lot of fist bumps. There were lots of cheers. There were lots of boos when one or the other won. Um, and we, we just had a lot of fun. The game was an insane blast. But uh, as the game, uh, at the end of the game, we came to the same conclusion. We decided that, yes, the game was definitely a fun game. We would love to play it again. We'd love to play it again with each other, um, with other friends and things. But uh, it does require a certain level of maturity, and it definitely deserves that M rating. That M rating means that it is not suitable for, uh, according to the MPAA, it means it's not suitable for children under the age of 18. So it, it, and I would agree with that. I do say that it does deserve that M rating. I won't be playing this with my son or my wife. Yes, my wife is over 18, but she doesn't like these types of games. Um, but Joe and I will probably be duking it out again in the near future. Uh, although, if we are playing, and if we're one of the female characters, we'll be going through the available costumes and making sure we're wearing one that's a little bit more fully clothed than some of those default costumes that the girls come with. So this game, again, it was fun. I recommend it with the caveat that uh, you should uh, be a little bit older when you're playing it. It is an M game, and it does deserve the M rating. Um, if you want to try it out, you can get it on the NVIDIA Shield in the GeForce Now catalog for $39.99. I'll have a link to that in the description below. If you don't have an NVIDIA Shield and you want to try one out, I'll have a link to that in the description as well, as well as to my review of the NVIDIA Shield. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to hit us up in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions that we can. If this video has been helpful to you or if you've liked the review, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I just want to remind you guys to please follow us on Twitter and YouTube so you can stay up to date with our latest content. And as always, just want to say thank you guys for watching and you all have an awesome day.